Hey guys, I'm back. Um, so I'm going to start out with the supply list that you'll need to create a scrunchie because that's what we're going to go over in this little video. Um, you know, just a basic scrunchie. Um, these are super easy to make. We've made them so many times at the studio and the girls love them. So anyway, I thought it'd be fun just to have a tutorial for those of you that don't know how to make them, but have always wanted to try it. They're, like I said, it's super simple. So the supply list will be one rectangle, okay, that's <laughs> four inches by 22 inches. Um, if you like it, if you like your scrunchie like a little, you know, more narrow, you could go to a three and a half inch rectangle, three and a half by 22. But, um... But like I said, this one and the one that's on my wrist now, these are both at four, cut four inches wide by 22 inches long. So that's what you need for fabric. And then of course you need a piece of elastic. This is an eight inch piece of elastic. So again, um, eight inches works really well. Cause if you think about it, you have to be able to double this, you know, if you're going to wear it in your hair, I know most girls just wear it on the wrist, but, um, but you don't want to cut this too short or you won't be able to double it when you put it, you know, on a pony or into a ponytail. So anyway, um, okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to turn our um, fabric here. And I'm going to try to angle this a little bit. Let's see if I can do this without creating a mess. Okay, there we go. That's a little better. Okay, so we are going to turn our fabric fabric wrong side up. Okay, we're working on it wrong side up and we're going to hem one of the short ends. We want to hem it at the half inch mark. So just set your seam gauge to half an inch, which is that little mark right there. And you are going to fold this back half an inch. So from the folded edge here to the raw edge here needs to be half an inch. And right now that's more like three fourths of an inch. So I need to slide it on back. And it looks like that's about right. So I'm going to place a pin just to hold that together. And then we will move down and we'll do that same thing, okay? Just measuring to make sure that that is half an inch. So super simple so far. Let me fix my thread here, it's kind of tangled. Well, there we go. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and sew this down. Again, keeping in line with my um, tape guide here, sewing guide. And I'm gonna start out with that back tack. So let me slide this over just a little bit. So, there we go. I am going to start out with that back tack. So I'm gonna sew three stitches forward and what have I done here? Let's try to get this. There we go. Okay, so three inches forward, three stitches forward and three stitches backwards. And then from here, we're just going to go ahead and sew to the other end. Again, as I'm sewing, I'm keeping it even with the tape line. And back tack again when you're at the, the end. So we'll raise our needle and raise the presser foot and then clip our threads. And go ahead and clip these. Just clean everything up. It's better to do that as you go than to have that huge mess at the end because who wants to do that after they have like a pretty pro project completed to have to go back and take the time to do that. So, and Cindy, I see you, that you just hopped on. I was gonna tell you, um, I'm gonna work on your tutorial here shortly. So for, for the binding. So I may even put that on this page because I think that might be the easiest way to get it to you. So anyway, I'll text you when I'm done with this and uh, let you know. Okay, so back to this. What we want to do next, we have this pretty side up and I'll just kind of zoom in on what I did there. Again, I just hemmed it at half an inch, okay? So we have this pretty side up and what we're going to do is we're going to fold this in half, pretty sides together because we're making a tube. Okay, so we want to fold it pretty sides together and we're going to bring these raw edges along this edge. We want to keep those laying evenly, as even as possible. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop a, a couple pins in here just to hold these two layers together. Okay. 
Now I can, um, like I said, these take like an eighth of a yard of fabric. Actually with an eighth of a yard, you'll get two scrunchies. So, um, you know, shop your fabric stash at home. These take such a minimal amount. They're great for eating up, you know, leftovers and scraps and stuff. But if, if you don't have fabric at home and you need some fabric, just let me know and I can arrange for you to um, pick some up here at the studio. I, I think I heard that Hobby Lobby is open or is opening, so keep that in mind too, the one on um, in Indian Land. Okay, so now we're ready to sew the, this side. Okay, we're going to do a half inch seam allowance. Again, I'm just, I already have my tape set here at half an inch, so I'm going to start out with my back tack. And it is important that you back tack that, that end because you're going to be um, putting your elastic through there and you don't want that pulling apart, you know, and having to wrestle with that. So make sure you back tack. And then just stop at your straight pins, remove those, and put those in your pincushion. And you'll just keep sewing until you get to the opposite end. Okay, and so we're at this end, and I'm just going to go ahead and finish this up with another back tack. And then just clip your threads. Okay, so now we have a tube. So, and I'm going to clip these threads here. But the next thing that we want to do is... Um, we're going to take, we need to flip this, flip this, you know, pretty side out. So, and, and like I was explaining in the other tutorial, the pincushion one, um, oh, I flipped that, but that's okay. But like I explained there, um, they, they have tons of like tube turning tools, you know, on the market and you can get those. I mean, they're on Amazon or, you know, at the craft store, but if you don't have that or don't want to invest in that, you can always use a safety pin. So you just want to make sure you safety that you clip it or pin it to the, you know, to inside of the seam allowance and as close to the top as you can. I wouldn't go too close because you don't want to rip it, but, um, but go, you know, pretty close. And then you're just going to turn that safety pin down inside of the tube and using that safety pin to hold to, you just scrunch the fabric and then slide it behind. It takes a second to get it started, but... Once you kind of work with it, it'll start to flip. So just keep scrunching and sliding. Eventually you'll get to the other end. Once you can kind of get a hold of the safety pin, it's a lot easier. So you're just going to flip this and fix your ends, you know, kind of neaten everything up the best you can. I would probably, if I wasn't doing this video, I would run this to the iron, but I don't even want to complicate <laughs> um, this video in that way, <laughs> so I'm not taking any chances. So anyway, um, but you know, since you're sewing at home, take the time to go iron this, and you want to iron it with the seam towards the side there. Okay, so we have our tube, and what we're going to do next is take our elastic. And again, this one is an 8-inch piece, um, so that's what I would suggest. All right, and what I want you to do is go ahead and start sliding this through um, the unfinished edge of the tube, so the, the end opposite of the hemmed end, okay? So the un unfinished end. And so we're just going to slide it through. And I want you to stop when the end of the elastic is even with the end of the tube. So just kind of keep scrunching and sliding. We're almost there. Okay, so 
Let's see if we can get this here. Okay, so what I want you to do from here is just center that elastic, okay? So just an even amount left and right of that elastic. Try to center it the best you can. And I want you to go ahead and sew that down. So we're kind of anchoring that end in place. And that way, um, especially for kids when they're sewing this, it's just so much easier if that's anchored and they're not having to wrestle with it because it gets to be a lot, you know, to handle here in just a second. All right, so after you anchor that, you want to find the uh, safety pin again and just keep, I have to go this way because I'm a lefty, but just keep working it until you get to the other end. So just scrunch and slide. Okay, and then here we are. And so what we're gonna do now, and I apologize for my nails, I know they look awful, but I, I had to, I broke down, I was like, you know what, I have to get some color on my hair, and then the color stained my fingernails. <laughs> so I'm like, oh my word, if it's not one thing, it's the other, but I just had to, I couldn't handle the, my roots coming out anymore. I was like, this is getting scary. <laughs> so anyway, all right, so we came all the way through, and what we're going to do now is um, we're going to anchor it to, we're going to anchor just the elastic, okay, just the elastic. You want to pull that, the tube back so that it doesn't get caught, because we don't want that yet. That's our next step. But what we're going to do is anchor just the elastic to the seam allowance area, and I hope I'm doing this where you can see. Hey, Donna. Um... So I hope, I hope I've got this in a good view here. Um, but we're, gonna, we're going to go ahead and just stitch this down. Now, I will say this for those of you that are new to sewing or your kids are new to sewing, uh, supervise them when they're doing